Hey everyone, how are you? Um, just making this video because I've been through the hemorrhoidectomy surgery and watching a lot of videos online about the surgery, then listening to everybody that went through that, it helped me a lot to go through that like before, during, and after the surgery, especially. So I thought I might as, might as well make one, try to help you guys to understand and maybe relax a little bit because I know how intense the whole experience can be. Um, all right, I'm going to start with quickly just a brief story why I did the surgery. So I've been suffering with hemorrhoids since I was 15. I just turned 36 last week. And it's something that's been really annoying my whole life, technically. Um, 11 years ago, when I first arrived in Australia, not from Brazil, I arrived in Australia 11 years ago, that's when it got worse. I don't know why, maybe it's just time, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, and that's, that's when it became really bad and I had to change my lifestyle and everything I was doing in life, it was to work around the hemorrhoids that I had. Um, I've been working in hospitality since I arrived here, so working in hospitality, 12 hours is standing up, or even more with hemorrhoids is not fun. Um, when I went to the doctor, he said that my hemorrhoids were level three. So I had two internal ones that became external as well. So because of that, you should bleed quite often every single time every single time no no exception every single time i go to poop it gets swollen it gets really annoying uncomfortable and and if i if, if i don't let's say if i poop in the morning or afternoon that's it for my day i cannot do anything else after could have uh, because of the swollen, like, I couldn't go outside, I couldn't do anything, just poop, straight away, sit down and relax. So if I do it in the morning or afternoon, that's it, my day is gone. So for this last 11 years, I've been working around, which was, I, I only poop at home, nighttime, because from pooping, I have to go straight to a shower to throw some hot water and clean properly, and then straight to the couch or go straight to bed because I cannot do anything else after. So I have to straight away sit down and chill. But still after that, like sometimes used to bleed or blah, blah, blah. So it took like a really chunk of my life mentally. So I decided, you know, that's it. I'm going to cut it off. I don't care. Let's do it. So yeah, 11 years dealing with that, I think was time. And that's when I decided I don't care anymore. And I'm not going to lie, it was really painful, it was really annoying, the whole surgery. But now that I'm okay, it's totally worth it. So worth it. I feel like a different man. It took like a big weight out of my back. I feel like, like I've, that's what I think normal people feel like. Poop related. <laughs> um, all right, so about my surgery, I'm going to try to make a quick video because I did another one and took ages and was really hard to upload. <clears throat> all right, um, decided to do that because of all these problems I had in my life. Went to my GP, got a referral letter, went to my the, the specialist. He did a test on me, exam or whatever. And then he told me, he explained to me, level three, blah, blah, blah. We did an appointment for surgery a week after. Cool. So I arrived in a, the, the surgery, like I was supposed to be in the hospital at midday on a Saturday. I was there midday on a Saturday. They took me in, blah, blah, blah. I went in, into like, I went to the bed, got changed, blah, 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 was in the bed. They took me to this room where the, the guy went to give me like an anesthesia, speak to me a little bit. And then he said, all right, I'm going to give you this on your, I'm going to inject this on you, go to your bloodstream, and then in a few minutes, you're going to feel a little bit dizzy, like you're drunk, and then you're going to pass out. Um, I had to do a uh, colonoscopy as well, because you used to bleed quite often. He said, like, let's do a colonoscopy, see if everything's okay, and then we do the surgery straight away. 
So yeah, in one day, colonoscopy and surgery straight away. Uh, hey, it was beautiful because I took the, the, the injection chip and then that was it, gone. Woke up like three, four hours later in, the, in, the, in my room, like in the hospital room where I was. Surgery gone, colonoscopy done, everything was fine. So just quickly, first day in the hospital, I'm going to talk about first day sleeping, first morning, still like first day technically in the hospital. It wasn't painful at all for the first 10, 12 hours because of the anesthesia and the painkillers. They were giving me every like four hours antibiotic, painkillers and all that. Um, I was really okay because I was laying in a bed, could move the bed. Um, I didn't leave the bed at all. Even to pee, to pee they gave me a bottle, so I peed in bed, just turning around, peeing the bottle. That's a good thing about being a man. Um, unfortunately, ladies, they can do that. It's really hard. So that's another thing. Um, I saw a lot of videos where people complained about having issues peeing. I didn't have any issue peeing. It was quite annoying because I was laying down, blah, 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 but didn't have any issue. I was peeing normally, drank a lot of water, was going normal. Um, good, which was good. So the yeah, first day, the surgery was a... He said that there was no stitches, so it was he left open. So the, the only really annoying thing and quite uncomfortable, painful-wise, was after the surgery, he left a gauze inside. So a gauze like inside, half outside, just to protect from the blood and all that. So that was pretty annoying because I stayed in the bed, uh, in bed for like a day and a half. I didn't leave the bed at all till I got released and went home. So like laying down for several hours, drinking, just drinking water, eating the food, crackers and all that, something easy, but like just laying down. So everything got stuck in here. I was feeling really like gassy and bloated uh, because of that. I got quite gassy and the farts were really painful because the farts weren't being released. The farts were like, let's say, the fart was, was going to the door and then just coming back. So that sensation was terrible because it felt like the, the, the fart was just there where the surgery happened and came back. Um, that was pretty annoying. That's something that happened to me. I don't know if it happened to a lot of people doing that. Um, yeah, after 12 hours, the anesthesia started like wearing out, wearing off. I don't know. Sorry about my English as well. I'm not 100% fluent. Um, yeah, so after the anesthesia wore off, I started feeling pain, so I couldn't sleep properly in the hospital. Not only because of the pain, I think because of everything. So it was like sleeping one hour here, two hours there, maybe 10 minutes, blah, blah, blah. And all the gauze, the gauze inside, the bloated, the fart and all that was pretty good. Uh, just wanted to go home, to be honest. After the surgery, like going back home is the best thing you can do. So in the morning, around 10 a.m., the doctor went to the room, explained to me, spoke to me, saw how it was it checked if they needed to change the gauze or something like that. I didn't need, I didn't have the need of pooping, which was weird, but good. So yeah, like first day was pretty easy, hospital bed, eating a lot, just bloated and all the jazz, but then went back home. Uh, and that's when things got better. So I arrived at home and then like a couple of hours later, I had the need the urge to poop, and I was really scared because, mate, it's going to be my first pooping bowel movement after a surgery. But but in the end, it was just the pooping cessation, but just to release that gauze. I didn't poop at all. It's just I went there, did like that automatic straining because the body just wanted to release that gauze. So went to the toilet. It was really uncomfortable and painful, but then once the gauze got released, that, that was it. Like I was feeling like a one million man, and then had a shower. I don't have a bathtub. They they recommend you they recommend you 
using a bathtub, doing the bath salts and all that. I don't have one. So I was just grabbing the head, the head shower, the shower head, and just aiming some hot water on my butt, which was really comfortable and really good because like the warm water gives you a nice sensation, relaxes and helps with the pain. Um, so yeah, once I released the gauze, that was beautiful. Like the whole day, no pain, just uncomfortable, like walking weird because like I could feel the surgery there, but wasn't painful at all. Um, and then, and then the next day, so that's day three, let's say that. So day two at home in the morning, that's when I really needed to poop. And then that's when I got scared. I was like, all right, this is it. Let's do it. I'm not going to lie. It was really painful. It was really, really painful. That's exactly what everybody says. It feels like you poop in glass, broken glass. Like it felt like glass sand. It's like just sand being released. It was pretty painful. It wasn't painful enough for me to like drop or cry or drop on the floor or cry. I heard that a lot of people saying that, but it was really painful. So pooped when I was okay. I don't need to poop anymore. Went straight to the shower, like warm hot water aiming on the butt. Um, till, till I felt okay to just leave the shower and and be okay as well. <clears throat> and then and then like pretty much that was it. I was really lucky that I it only it was only really painful the bowel movement for the first three times after that, that was it no more pain i was really surprised because a lot of people just complaining that there's people that on like week three are still really painful to go evacuate and i was lucky enough that on my third one that was it like it hurt for the first three and then that was it so yeah i was pretty 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 lucky to be able to not feel pain after three days or four. So the first week was pretty annoying. Um, one thing I was doing that really helped with my bowel movement was the first whole week, I was just eating soup, drinking smoothies, a lot of water, and then just like crackers and just those little bits that gives you like a lot of fiber. I recommend doing that. Um, what else? Like I'm on I'm on week six now, so today is being six weeks since I did the surgery, and I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like I'm okay now. Like I I still feel that there there was a surgery there a few weeks ago, but it's not painful anymore. But I, I know you know. Um. So yeah. Um. Yeah. Just to finish the video quite soon like if you guys have any questions any, anything you want to know or if you just want to like just rant about it or just want to talk about it or whatever i'm here send them comments on the video i'll re i'll be replying all the time because i think because i think these kind of videos help people a lot what i after i did the surgery i watched a lot of videos of people and listening to people going through what you've just been through as well it helps you a lot you get a lot of like opinions and information from different people so yeah I, that's why i decided to make the video because my experience was different from a lot of people's experience and you never know what's going to happen to you so uh, if i can give you guys a hint or some advice on that it would be if you somehow working, get three, four weeks off. You want to do that because it, it can be really annoying and you just want to relax and make sure you recover well. Um, buy one of those donut seats because that helps when you're sitting down, especially in the beginning when it's painful. Uh, one thing I bought and was really good was I bought like those pads that you put between the underwear and your skin so if there's blood coming out it stops there because like you don't want your pants dirty and then you get the like the, the sheets the mattress 
So yeah, I got some of those you can buy easily on any supermarket or whatever. Um, when I left the hospital, the doctor gave me an antibiotic, which helped with the pain, and two different painkillers, which was Panadol and a Biprofen. Uh, so I recommend doing that because you can take those pills in a two hour, four hours break, right? So every two hours I was taking a different pill. So the way for the whole, like for the first two weeks, I didn't have any pain besides the immediate pain after pooping, because of course you like evacuating after a surgery, but the whole, the rest of the whole day, I didn't have any pain because every two hours I was taking something for pain. And it was okay because of the time frame, it wasn't heavy on my stomach as well. So. I was okay for the whole day, no pain, every two hours, take a pill. And again, keep on the light food. You want to do that. Just eat something heavy. Have, I mean, steaks, like a main meal, just a week after. Just go easy for the first week. Find a really good, if you play video games, find a really good game you want to play because that what took my mind out of it. I was just sitting on the chair playing games the whole time. Um, if you want, make make like a little journal and make a video. So, because when you're recording something or when you're talking to someone, you kind of take your mind out of it and you relax a little bit. Um, um, yeah, again, if you guys have any questions, please send me something. I'm more than happy to talk about it. I'm probably going to forget something then on your question. I will remember or and everything else. Yeah. I was lucky enough that my whole experience was pretty easy. I suffered like high, really annoying high pain for the first two days, like just after pooping. But then that was it. I was lucky enough. There's a lot of people that weren't. So hopefully you'll be having the same experience as I had. And hopefully you won't be suffering the way a lot of people are. And and again, just like try to relax. It is worth it. I don't know your cases. On my case, I decided to do the surgery and it was totally worth it. I'm super happy right now. It, it, it really changed me as a person. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's pretty, it's a really good feeling to be able to just poop normal, like a normal person. Um, so yeah, please, 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 please comment on the video send me questions, ask anything you want to know, or if you just want to like take some stuff out of your chest, please do it as well. It doesn't even have to be about the surgery. If you just want to like someone to hear about all the shit that's been happening, especially with this isolation and virus stuff, I'm here. All right, cool. All right, good luck to everybody doing the surgery. You'll be fine. Be strong for the first week and then the rest is just managing. All right, awesome. Have a good night, guys. Thank you.